My name is Sarah Conway and this is my poem called Never Give Up. As a child I grew up with no dad. For the first while it was normality, but as I grew it made me real sad. I used to look around and wonder what way my life would be if I just had my dad right beside me. So I made myself a promise that when I grow up, I'd have myself a family of mum, dad and kids, as this should be enough. I never wanted for any more than family pictures hung over every door. This was my dream from the age of eight. I thought it would be easy for me to create. It was my way of getting through, as my dad, I never knew. So as life went on, I started to notice I wasn't alone. So many kids had one parent and love was still shown. So as I was accepting it all to be okay, I still kept in my heart I'd have my own family one day. My dreams came to life when I just turned 17. Me and my partner welcomed our daughter, our life, our very own queen. I had exactly what I wished for all of them years. Mom, dad, baby, a family, completion, no more fears. This is what I thought would fill the missing part. From me not having a dad, I thought this would heal my heart. And that my children would never have to feel any of what I did, you know, they could have the real deal. Just after a year of our girl being born, the relationship was beginning to become torn. It was over so quick and we were on our own. Our hopes, my dreams had crashed. I was left parenting alone. I looked at my daughter and promised it would all be okay. But I didn't know how to protect her, I completely lost my way. So I used the anger and hurt I had inside to build a support network so we could somehow survive. I began counselling and parenting support. At 18 years old, I quickly matured so my daughter would not hurt. Within two years, I began to feel great. I became so positive and let go of the hate. I went back and completed my leaving seat. While she was in crash, I was in college. I filled myself with support and plenty of knowledge. Our lives were amazing. We had each other. A lovely, healthy bond as just daughter and mother. My life was so positive. I was so proud of myself. I surrounded myself with a great family and friends. And if needed, I'd always ask for the help. I continued on to study counselling and psychology. I was in my first year. My confidence was shining, for now I had nothing to fear. I started seeing this guy I knew from walking close by. We got together real quick, I fell in love, I'm not gonna lie. A short while later, I was expecting baby number two. He told me he'd never leave me, so I introduced him to my daughter to see how they do. She was six at the time, so we first met at the zoo. They got on amazing, and after that, their relationship just grew. Their family was real, their baby was growing inside. My life was that full, I was bursting with pride. Second time around, my dream came back to life. All we were short of was becoming husband and wife. I gave birth to a girl, and dad attached so much. Even big sister was so caring and gentle, with every touch. Nine months later, yet another surprise. We welcomed a final daughter into our lives. Two babies in a year, I couldn't believe it was real, but the happiness didn't last, as dad, he had something to reveal. A year and a bit later, things began to feel real bad. It was serious mental health issues that he had. I fought for help as I wouldn't give up, but he mentally trained me like I was a brand new pup. I was stripped of my confidence and made believe it was me. I suffered so bad the ways he was torturing, it was not easy for anyone to see. I reached out for help and I begged him to attend. Every support we got, he would quickly find a way for it to end. His promises and words for a long time worked on me. It was sinking in so far to a point my life I could not see. It got that bad, I tried to break away, but my confidence was gone because I felt I needed him to stay. Through counsel and help, we made up a plan. We would stick together, but therapy was his number one. So I packed up and left and moved to Kildare so we could start fresh away from Dublin to breathe and get some air. I felt a bit more confident that I never gave up. Every family has problems, stick together, walk through. I thought this would be enough. So I moved my life to his hometown, the place where he came from. I was feeling we were going to get through this horrible storm. So I decorated the house before he moved in, every cent, every euro, so we could just feel positive within. 
The day came, he was to move in, he was supposed to pack. The kids were so excited for daddy to come back. He turned up with no bags and told me he was not ready for the responsibilities as his life was not steady. He stayed the night but told me he was leaving us the next day. I cried through the whole night. I was weak in every way. September the 16th, 2017 was the day I was committing suicide. I had no more to say. I was stripped to the core. He had closed every door. He had taken from me my own sanity. I wrapped a wire around my neck and I pulled it so tight. He opened the door and looked at me, called me pathetic and left me to die. I fell to the ground, just hearing one sound, the bang from my front door. I crawled up to see, he had left with my babies, he had taken my life away from me. I was so weak, so I said my final goodbye. On a video I sent to my friend Nikki, as she looked in my eye. She cried and begged and told me to stop. She pleaded with me that she'd help me right back to the top. She saved my life that very day. It's extremely horrifying to be in that way. It's been hard work this last year. My every strength has come from my daughter's laughter to my ear. I began a new futures programme with one family. I wanted my life back. I needed the light. I needed to see. I worked on my personal development and my own self-worth. I began to create a positive future so myself and my kids could stop feeling hurt. The programme was amazing. New paths opened up for me. I could go in a healthy, happy direction to a life where I could finally be free. I fake smiled at people daily, but I kept my head up high. I worked so hard on myself through the hurt and the pain, I then allowed myself to cry. I released it over the months in my course. I talked so much that my voice became hoarse. My foundation I was building, step by step I was taking my time. Whatever obstacles got in the way, no matter how hard I would face them and climb. Months went by and I found me. The hard work paid off, I could finally clearly see. I was glowing with happiness, my kids were too. I found the answer, it's to look after you. And now that I have, all that I needed has came my way. I've got my home, my happiness, my job, my car, my kids. I've made my bed and I'm here to stay. The dream I had for a complete family. You know what, I've got it and it contains my three kids and me. Never give up. If I can do it, anyone can. This video is for you, so take out your pen and paper and start making your plan. This is my closure, but it's also a new beginning. My only advice, stay positive, look after you, because if you do, you're winning. Thank you. Everybody say dreams, 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 everybody say dreams. Don't be afraid.